Why some vaginal births usually end up with caesarean section. Working in the theater recovery for about three years, I have seen a lot of cases that were supposed to be normal vaginal deliveries end up as emergency caesarean section. Let me mention some below. 1. Fetal distress. When baby's heart rate is dropping below 120 or going above 160 consistently or decelerations. 2. When all of a sudden the mother is bleeding but delivery is not yet over. 3. There is delayed first stage of labor. Mother is contracting for a long time but there is slow progress of labor. 4. Delayed second stage of labor. Mother has fully dilated but she can't push the baby out due to maternal exhaustion or other factors. 5. Sometimes a big baby can lead to obstructed labor and it can end up with caesarean section. 6. Placenta separating before the birth of the baby. 7. Cord prolapse. When the cord comes first before the baby, it can lead to reduced blood supply to the baby. Cease may be needed to save the baby. 8. Complications of high blood pressure and diabetes in pregnancy can also cause your doctor to change the mode of delivery at birth. 9. Baby not positioned well can at times cause your doctor to request for a caesarean section. It's for this reason it's advisable for pregnant women to keep an open mind about the mode of birth. In case there is an emergency remember a caesarean section can be requested to save your life and that of the baby. At this point every minute counts you you will need to take a quick decision. Cooperating with your doctor will lead to the best outcome. Thanks for reading, don't leave your pregnancy to chance. For more interesting videos www.mymidwifesally.com